I was trying to think how is sync connected to happiness, and it occurred to me that um, for some reason we take pleasure in synchronizing. We, we like to dance together, we like singing together. In fact, it's, uh, I'll try to explain today that, that sync is maybe one of the, if not one of the most, perhaps even the most pervasive drive in all of nature. It extends from the subatomic scale to the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It's a, a, a deep tendency toward order in nature that, that opposes what we've all been taught about entropy. I mean, I'm not saying the law of entropy is wrong, it's not. But there is a countervailing force in the universe, the, the tendency towards spontaneous order. And so, um, that's our theme. Now, to get into that, let me begin with what might have occurred to you immediately when you hear that, that we're talking about synchrony in nature, which is the, um, the glorious example of uh, birds that flock together or, or fish swimming in organized schools. So um, these are not particularly intelligent creatures, and yet, as we'll see, they, they exhibit beautiful ballets. This is from a BBC show called Predators, and what we're looking at here are examples of synchrony that have to do with defense. When you're small and vulnerable, like these starlings, or like the fish, it helps to swarm to avoid predators, to confuse predators. Let me just be quiet for a second because it's so gorgeous. to study all kinds of organizations to understand what the future might look like. But I've been studying nature recently. You know, bees come in swarms and fish come in schools. Starlings in the area around Edinburgh and the moors of England come in something called a murmuration. And the murmuration refers to the murmuring of the wings of the birds. And throughout the day, the starlings are out over a 20 mile radius, sort of doing their starling thing. And at night they come together and they create one of the most spectacular things in all of nature. And it's called a murmuration. Um, and scientists that have studied this have said they'd never seen an accident. Now this thing has a function. It protects the birds. You can see on the right here, there's a predator being chased away by the collective power of the birds. And apparently this is a frightening thing if you're a predator of starlings. And there's leadership, but there's no one leader. Now, is this some kind of fanciful analogy or could we actually learn something from this? Well, the murmuration functions to accord a, a number of principles, and they're basically the principles that I've described to you today. This is a huge collaboration. It's an openness. There's a sharing of all kinds of information, not just about location and trajectory and, and danger and so on, but about food sources. And there's a real sense of interdependence. Uh, that the individual birds somehow understand that their interests are in the interests of the collective. the case of fireflies. If you see fireflies in North America, like so many North American sorts of things, they tend to be independent operators. They ignore each other. They each do their own thing, flashing on and off, paying no attention to their neighbors. But in Southeast Asia, places like Thailand or Malaysia or Borneo, there's a, a beautiful cooperative behavior that occurs among male fireflies. You can see it every night along the riverbanks. Um, the trees, mangrove trees, are filled with fireflies communicating with light. Specifically, it's male fireflies who are all flashing in perfect time together, in perfect synchrony, to reinforce a message to the females. And the message, as you can imagine, is come hither, mate with me. Now in a second, I'm going to show you a slow motion of a single firefly. So you can get a sense. This is a single frame, then on, and then off. 30th of a second there. 
And then watch this whole river bank and watch how precise the synchrony is. On, more on, and then off. This, the combined light from these beetles, these are actually tiny beetles, is so bright that fishermen out at sea can use them as navigating beacons to find their way back to their home rivers. <coughs> Outside and see the, the world in a new way, to see all the amazing synchrony around us. Thank you.